Hi guys. Every so often I get asked to go right back to the basics on simple rubber band powered cars. And I keep directing people to my old videos. But I thought today I'd do a new one. So this is a simple rubber band powered car. It'll be made from cardboard. Uh, let's just go through the bits that you need. Tools. I like to use my hot glue gun. Other types of glue will work. I've got a nice steel ruler here. A pair of scissors. Sharp knife. A pen. A cutting board. That's important because you don't want to cut through your table or anything when you're cutting things up. There's not much cutting involved. I've got some sticky backed paper here. Pretty stuff so that I can make the car look a little bit prettier than just the plain cardboard and CDs. For wheels I like to use CDs. You can cut them out of cardboard if you want, but CDs are a nice ready-made circle. The only problem with CDs is they've got a big hole in the middle. And I like to use barbecue skewers as the axles. So that means you've got a big gap there. And the way I get around that is I use plastic milk bottle tops and hot glue them over the centre. These particular milk bottle tops have actually got a marking right in the middle so you can find the centre easily. But that's not absolutely necessary, but it does make life easier. So I've got four CDs, two barbecue skewers, eight plastic bottle tops, I've got a paper clip, we need that later on, or you could use something like that. That's to clip the rubber band onto, or on the end of your car. You'll see later what it's for, but you can either use that or use that. A couple of nice big drinking straws. I like to use big ones because that means the barbecue skewer's got plenty of room in there so it's a nice loose fit. And you'll probably need some extra hot glue sticks. And some cardboard. This is a nice big cardboard tray. I don't need very much of it. In fact I'm just going to use a bit off the side here. So, But virtually any cardboard will do as long as it's reasonably stiff. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut out the bit that I want. Cutting board. The longer your car is, the more of a band you can put on it. I'm going to make mine about 12 inches long. I'm cutting this roughly at the moment and then I'll have to trim it to get it straight. So we don't need this anymore. We're just going to use this piece. Now one thing that is important is that the ends need to be straight or parallel. Because if they're not straight then your axles are going to go on at a bit of an angle. And that means that it's not the car's not going to go straight, it's going to go around in circles. 
So there's various ways of doing that. You could use something that's got a bright angle on it, like a piece of card, and mark it up. Or my cutting board's actually got lines marked on it already. So if I line it up with the cutting board, you probably won't be able to see the lines. But I'll put my ruler along the line to make sure I've got it straight. same at the other side. So I'm lining it up along the line. There's a line that goes along there. So I'm lining the edge of the cardboard up against that. And then using the line that goes that way. So those two edges should be parallel and that should help the car go straight. You need to hot glue drinking straws on both ends so I'll switch the hot glue gun on. While we're waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up I'll just explain. So this is going to be the tube for the axle to go through so we'll hot glue it on the end you want it to stick out a little bit either side so that when the wheels are going round they don't rub on the edge of the cardboard chassis. So make it just about quarter of an inch either side. If we're lucky, yes I can get two axle tubes out of one drinking straw. There we go, we'll let that cool down. While we're waiting, we can also put a little bit all the way round like this. And that helps to hold it in place. Do the same at the other end. That's still soft, so don't put it down or it will stick to the table. Right, we'll let that cool down and then we need to cut at one end, we need to cut a slot out so that we've got access to the axle so we can wrap the rubber band around it. So we'll leave that. Oh, the other thing I was talking about was you could do that and then you can attach your rubber band to there. So that's quite a convenient way of attaching the rubber band. Or, you can do what I normally do, which is put a paper clip in place. It's better if the paper clip goes through between the axle and the cardboard, 
because if you have it going around the outside of the axle it might get pulled tight and it might squash the axle where it goes through. So we need to push it through there. But I'll wait for this to cool down then I'll do that. 